in my previous module i talked about activation energy and also the speed of energy let's talk about that more delta g change in free energy does not tell us about the speed of a reaction how quickly a reaction will proceed how quickly the reactants will be converted into products delta g just tells us about the equilibrium point of the reaction so enzymes are the entities that can manipulate the activation energy that's the topic of this module we will see how enzymes can mod, uh, can manipulate the activation energy activation to, uh, to understand activation energy we can go back to our original analogy of ball rolling down the hill in this case also our products are at higher energy level reactants are at lower energy level but the ball that is placed on the hill has to overcome a little hump as you can see on the slide behind me this ball has to be provided small amount of energy in order to go over the hump that is the activation energy our products are at a specific energy level the reactants are at a specific energy level and the products are at a lower level however the reactants have to go to a transition state level which is even higher energy level yet in order for reactants to go to higher energy level of transition state they require little energy for example combustion of methane is a very exothermic reaction it releases a lot of energy but as you have seen when you turn on your stove but you have to provide some energy you have to light up a match in order for your stove to start uh, the combustion process so the methane gas which is which is coming out of your stove it starts to burn so that amount of energy different chemical reactions have different amounts of activation energy requirement enzymes can lower the activation energy uh, activation energy requirement of a reaction let's look at how enzymes we will talk about how enzymes lower the activation energy requirement but let's look at a process with and without enzymes so no, at normal temperatures only few molecules have enough energy kinetic energy kinetic energy i would like to mention is the is basically the average kinetic energy of the system that is the definition of temperature so at a specific temperature say for example 25 degrees celsius we are saying that the average kinetic energy of molecules of methane for example is a specific number however this is an average certain molecules will have higher higher uh, higher energy higher kinetic energy other molecules will have lower kinetic energy the molecules that have a higher kinetic energy can overcome that activation energy barrier and get can get converted into uh, products so the process is very very slow as we looked at an example of degradation of polyarginine enzymes can help the products attain the transition state with a lower energy requirement so as you remember we also saw the case of glucose 1 phosphate and converting into glucose 6 phosphate the question was why is it that 5% of the molecules are still at a higher energy level we said that that process is occurring at 25 degrees celsius at 25 degrees celsius some molecules had enough kinetic energy and they could use that kinetic energy to attain a higher energy state which was glucose 1 phosphate so their kinetic energy was converting into potential energy in the form of high energy bond which was glucose 1 phosphate bond enzymes can use three different techniques three different strategies to lower the activation energy we we'll look at that in the next module